Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about conditional constraints. Implication constraints. The implication operator can be used to declare conditional relations between two variable implication. That is this symbol. So this is implication operator, and the implication operator is placed between the expression and the constraint. So with the help of implication operator, we can. So with the help of implication operator, we can declare any conditions like if else so expression followed by implication operator followed by constraint if the expression on the lhs of the implication operator is true then only the constraint on the rhs will be considered so this is the syntax expression followed by implication operator followed by constraint if this is satisfied expression is satisfied then only the constraint will be executed Let's see an example here. We have a class called packet, and we have a variable called addr of ran type, of bit data type, and size is four bit. And we have a string called addr underscore range, and we have a constraint called address underscore range, and we are specifying address underscore range equal to equal to small. If this constraint is true, then only this will be executed. Let's see. Here we have declared a module called constraint underscore impl implication, and with an initial beginning, we are creating a handle and creating the object for this handle, and we are assigning addr underscore range as small, and within repeat block, we are randomizing the handle and we are displaying address underscore range and packet underscore and address. So here we are assigning address underscore range as small. So this condition is satisfied. So that's why this ADDR value will be less than eight. Let's see the output. Here we can see the value of ADDR is eight. If the value of ADDR underscore range is equal to big, then this condition is not satisfied, so this constraint will not work. So in that scenario, ADDR will be greater than eight. If else constraint, if else block allows conditional executions of constraints. If the expression is true, all the constraints in the first constraint or constraint block must be satisfied. Otherwise, all the constraints in the optional else constraint constraint block must be satisfied. It is similar to if else block. Let's see an example about this. We have a class called packet and variable called addr of rand type and of bit data type of four bit size. And we have a string called addr underscore range and we have a constraint called address underscore range. And we are using if else here. If address addr underscore range is equal to equal to small, then addr is less than eight, else addr is greater than eight. And we are ending the class, and we have a module called constraint underscore if underscore else. And within initial begin block, we are creating a handle and object, and we are assigning the value of addr underscore range as small. So if addr underscore range is small, then this condition is satisfied. So the value of addr will be less than eight. So this constraint will work. So the values of addr will that are generated will be less than eight. And here we are mentioning ADD and underscore range is high. So this condition is not satisfied. So in this scenario, ADDR underscore the values which are generated will be greater than eight. Let's see the output. Here in the first scenario, ADDR underscore range is small, then ADDR values are less than eight. And if the ADDR underscore range is high, then the values of ADDR are greater than eight. So this is all about implication operator and if else. Thank you for watching this video.